Oh, 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 oh. Really appreciate helping out the 2K ha! community Gay! so much. B2 is your second bus. So you only have two buses. No, I appreciate you guys being here because we got another request by Steve. Steve is the one that wants the mobile devices and the games from consoles and PCs on your phone. So it could be on the iOS, it could be on the Android, it could be on anything. But we'll get straight into it. This is basically how to set up everything because this is going to be a complete guide on how to do mobile devices with different games, with different consoles, different systems, all that stuff. We're going to customize everything that we have, everything we're going to have, and we're going to get deep deep in detail on how to do it so with that let me switch over to the PC and we got a little intro for you guys that I did a video on already so let me do this in another window this is AirDroid. this is where you can pretty much mirror or type on the keyboard or anything like that any type of customization you might want to have you transfer over files or just look at the mirror itself or actually phone record your own phone right over here we're able to do that on android so let me take a piece of this and then i'm doing a little thing over here with my obs so i won't show the screen but i'll show the screen on another video that i did so i'll have that in the cards as well let me do a window capture and then this window capture is going to be a phone uh, let's see screen and then now I want to pick my application it's already picked for me <laughs> alrighty so now we got the application right there and now we have it available here so I can minimize this actually and piece around this and put it anywhere I want all right and it's already following along with what I'm doing all right actually ooh, I actually need this up oh we actually just <laughs> we actually need this up all in the same time so I'll put this on the other screen because I actually had to minimize that you see on the screen this is raw right here and then I'm moving it on my phone but it's not going with the actual recording wow which is over here that has to stay on the screen while it follows everything wow okay so we just discovered something <laughs> so let me now alt right here all right if you guys want to see what i did um you guys will see that in the video in the cards now i can piece this out anywhere i want i can size it up if i wanted to Let me do that size it up i can make this bigger for you guys which i will and then i have this on the side so now our first part is to download aptoid so let me on the solar first and then I'll be uninstalling it right here. It should show the complete process. I've done this in many of my videos. So now that's uninstalled, we got AirDroid is what you need if you want it. You know, that's really a separate video. Aptoid, inside of here, I now want to go to my Samsung inner, uh, internet. Now, I want to be able to look at the access photos and the media, whatever. Just let it, let it be. And now it wants me to go to my other browser, which I have a video on that as well, and or just download it. So I'll go to my other browser. Down here, we're on the Aptoid, and this is basically how the website looks. And uh, it's a pretty cool website. It's um, responsive and all that stuff, so it goes along with your phone. So let's download it. If you try to download something through the website, it's going to want you to download the app itself. So, I already saw that I downloaded it, whatever. Uh, we'll just download it again, just to show you guys. If it says it's harmful, it's not harmful because I already did the test. Anything that could be harmful, I already checked it on my devices. So, if it's harmful, I wouldn't even put out the video. But since the video's out, it's obviously not harmful. So, we downloaded that. Let it go through the process. Let's see where it is. Let's open it. Another screen should have popped up. Oh, and the screen should have popped up, but okay, now I gotta search and destroy for it now. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, let's go to files. If you don't see it popping up, we gotta go to files. And um, honestly, this is all of the same thing. So we're gonna download Astro as well. As as that. These are just different apps that do the same thing inside of your native phone. Let's just re download it. Settings. Allow source. So you'll need to do this as well. Allow from the source. Got that going through. Go back. 
to your files and then install. Now it's installed, go ahead and open. This is where you're gonna download all types of apps that are no longer on the App Store, but are still clean. They're not harmful apps. It has nothing to do with pirating or anything. This is old apps that used to be on the App Store, so the iOS store or the Android store. So I'm on Android right now. I'm gonna look through all that cool stuff. We can just skip, I didn't, and, uh, I didn't log in on anything. And then now, first, we're going to download 7-Zip. Uh, if you guys want to download AirDroid, there's a separate video for that. And there's a separate video for this, too. But I wanted to compile it all in the same idea. All right, so we got the keyboard here. I don't want to use that. I'm going to use the Samsung keyboard. You know, I can show you guys the AirDroid keyboard in another video. And we're going to do 7-Zip. It's called 7-Zipper. 7-Zip, the actual name on the actual computers or something like that 7 zip is the name on the pcs on the macs all that stuff it's mainly on pc though on windows machines and now we have the 7 zipper let's download that i haven't downloaded this at all on this phone allow if i'm going too fast just slow down a little bit i'm just trying to get to the point for you guys anything i need to explain then you guys will see all of my points and views on certain things and also uh, allow from source that we did this already but okay and so seven zipper and now we have seven zipper on our phone right here we want to allow everything and everything i'm doing in the video guide just follow along because basically i've done it all off camera so if it's harmful if it messes up your phone it shouldn't because i've done all the testing done all the ricks for you so if a video is out telling you to do this and this and this, go ahead and do it. Especially if I'm showing you step by step. If this video is telling you to download something and they don't show it, it's more likely you got to use your own intellect. But if I'm showing you step by step how to do something, go ahead and just follow along. Because so I've done it off camera already and I've done it in other videos already. So, which are in the cards as well. So, uh, please click the area, it's just a tutorial, all this stuff. So this is just another type of file management system where you're able to see different components of your phone see the usage you see whatever you want to see so i just download this is all the pop-ups popping up right now all right then i can go back all right come out of that window get some information all that stuff and i want to see some of this too so it was just another part of my file management system awesome so now we got the seven zipper seven zipper is a type of application where you're downloading different stuff and you can see it in this interface that's all it is the same as your files you see it you see it in your files right here and now we're going to download astro i mainly use astro it's more of a preference thing at this point i like astro how it looks the smoothness of it all right, so we're gonna download Astro File Manager. File Manager is gonna be downloaded right here. So we have File Manager. All right, awesome. It's not the Astro headset or anything like that. It's just a separate company named Astro. And now we have all this stuff. I've been using this stuff for a while, all these apps for a good amount of time, at least seven to eight months. So honestly, if I'm showing a video about it, go ahead and do the same exact thing because this is what you search up. So, all right, and I write everything you see me read. I'm a, an intelligent reader. I'm a fast reader. <laughs> I read so damn fast. Anyway, um, so all this stuff is optional. The crash, the tracking, and the attribution, all this stuff is optional. And now we're going to need Astro's permission. And we're going to do that right there. And most likely usage data access so the usage data access you go straight to your astro and then you allow usage tracking so then it understands where all the files are coming through right and then here's the interface this is exactly how it looks this is how the astro file manager is going to be presented to you the same look if you were going straight to the google play store or straight to the ios store it's the same thing it's just an older version of the application that's all it is like i said from before it's not pirating and just older versions of the app or apps that are not even on the app store anymore you can go straight to aptoid data right whatever you go straight to this application 
and you can download apps that are no longer on the app store or just older versions of the app so that's really it that's what the title is um any extras that i explained from the air droid there's a video attached to that if you guys want to see psp games you can play on your phone mainly on android that specific video is in the card as well and that's really all of the video this is how you set up everything this is the intro video towards where you can play different kinds of games on psp different kinds of games on different types of emulators and even going to nba live 19 where uh, steve actually requested that so we're going to get straight into that pretty soon in one or two videos from this and we'll be seeing if it's plausible because um there are a few videos out there but they're not really well explained so that's why a lot of people seek out me to do a lot of these videos because I explain it really well. I go straight to the point and if a video is out and it makes sense, it's going to be out there to explain to you guys why this is good, why this is bad, right? So use your own knowledge. If you feel like uh, the way I did it wasn't correct, use your own knowledge, research. This is all what I do and I put out the videos on YouTube, on even Rumble. I'm on Rumble now to a point where you guys are understanding everything you guys add in your points as well don't really blindly go towards a type of video and then copy and paste it unless you understand each and every point so rewatch the video if you don't understand it understand each and every point and then go step by step with the video and see if it makes any sense for you so with that that's really it with the video uh, nothing else to show you guys i'll do an overview so astro file manager we got the seven zipper file manager it's all just file managers you know you're able to download your game set up your games and go and point to a certain emulator if you're able to do that as well and the app toid is where you're downloading different games that are no longer on the app store ios store or just older versions of that same app that are still on the app stores that you're on so that's really it guys uh nothing else to explain there's air droid in the cards the detailed game that i have in psp emulator is in the card as well and with that i appreciate you guys watching if you guys need anything definitely let me know in the youtube community any other add-ons any other suggestions like how steve did definitely put them in the youtube community hit me up on social medias as well and take care and peace out being a essential part in the hacking community thank you so much thank you all for this i think in potato you have four buses but uh definitely check that out i have a video on potato definitely look at that video and see the detail in it it's wide scale is bigger it's pretty awesome right let me